What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today in this video, well actually I'm going to ride on this tractor. Check this out. Let's go. Alright, well I can only ride on this tractor so much because I got a laptop and I stink at this. This is Granary Finance. Well, as you guys can see here, it's a decentralized user driven borrowing and lending liquidity market inspired by Aave. Okay, well, actually, guys, we're going to break down a couple of things, some speculations that I have. We're going to talk about the team, some potential tokenomics, and what this team has involved. So let's go ahead and get into the white paper. So if you guys haven't used Aave, Geist Finance, or Blizz, or even uh, Trader Joe, if you guys want to understand how this works, is basically you deposit a token and you're able to borrow against it. There are a lot of people with some Harmony tokens, with Ethereum, with some Bitcoin, and several other coins that may be listed on the granary, and they can either lend them out and borrow some stables against them, or they can uh, borrow other digital assets. So basically it allows you to partake in DeFi without actually having to sell your bags, and it's leveraging your bags as collateral so you can borrow against and use in DeFi. Now, what are the tokenomics? What is the use case for using Granary? Well, right now there is not enough info on it, but I did pull out some information and I am doing some speculation on it. The very first part about the tokenomics I wanna mention is that the Grain token will entitle you to 50% of the revenue generated by borrowing and lending. So say for example, you lend out a token and it's paying you 5% and then you borrow a token and you uh, pay 7%. That means that 2% spread is what you are earning. Well, actually 50% of it. So you'd be earning 1%. So if there's a million dollars in there, well, you earn 1% of the million dollars. Now you don't get the full 1%. Um, that actually is spread out to all of the token stakers. So like if you're staking your token, you earn a percentage of it. And yes, as people are farming, the token is going to be released and it will be diluting the shareholders, but that is just something to keep in mind. Now, I have a speculation that there will be an early withdrawal penalty similar to how Geist was, and it's not set in stone. So until we get more details on the exact tokenomics, this is a bit of speculation. Now they did just have an AMA. I did record the AMA, but dummy me was recording it and I was trying to go on my phone, listen to it and my computer was recording and it got trashed. Like it did not record fully. But Tosh, a boy. Uh, make sure you guys give him a follow. Uh, check out his YouTube channel as well. But he got the full recording up. When his video goes up, I'll make sure to leave that link in the description so you guys can listen to that full AMA. Had a bunch of alpha in there. Um, so back to the tokenomics, um, again, there is more info to come soon, uh, but there are a lot of hints on this being like Geist, Aave with better tokenomics. So here is a quick screenshot I wanted to show you guys. So as you can see, it says Geist overall is actually a pretty good protocol. And I agree, um, but there are two main issues. First is the LP staking for early adopters. I agree with this big time because basically when you're the pool two, you are just asking to get dumped on and you're gonna receive a lot of impermanent loss and you're not gonna be a happy camper. And second were the high gas fees due to poor data types. And I remember when phantom uh, congestion occurred, I mean, it was like four or five phantom just to make a deposit and a withdrawal onto Granary. Now, I'm not saying it's gonna be the same issue on Harmony or if it'll cause massive congestion, but time will tell, we'll see what happens. But it, they are explaining that they are already going to update the solidity coding. And they got a couple of brilliant minds working on this. One of them, one of my favorites is Beavis. He is actually behind Byte Masons and over at Phantom. But not only are these guys just checking the back code and making sure everything's on the up and up, they're also Solidity developers and they also have their own project called Reaper Farm. Highly recommend you guys check that one out as well, not financial advice. So some more speculations that I do have on the protocol, this was already confirmed, is that there will be airdrops for using the protocol early. So if you are farming, playing on the uh, protocol, lending, borrowing, etc., you will get airdrop the token early. Also what was mentioned, they will offer more competitive rates. Another thing, they will have GameFi features. So you guys know me and GameFi. I'm a gamer, I love this type of junk. 
It's not just like a, what the snap? Let me go ahead and deposit these tokens. No, I assume it's going to be more like GameFi, uh, and it's going to be more like a farming theme. So you deposit seeds into or with soil into a pot and you farm and earn a yield. So I think that would be kind of interesting. Of course, they already mentioned it's not going to be full out GameFi, something like, hey, you get an NFT, you send them questing type of thing. No, it's not going to happen like that. So like I had already mentioned, they are going to make more gas optimized contracts and they're hinting at making better tokenomic models than Geist or Aave for better long-term token sustainability. So I'm very bullish on that. This is more so for people who have not used Aave or have not used things like Compound or even Geist Finance and whatnot. But basically all you would do is you deposit into a protocol, you deposit your tokens, and it will allow you to borrow a certain amount. So say for example, I have some Ethereum and I deposit in there and the Ethereum I have is worth $1,000. If the protocol says I can borrow at 80% of my collateral, that means I can borrow $800 max. Now you don't wanna borrow the max because there are chan there's a chance of price fluctuations in Ethereum and you can get liquidated and you can lose all your Ethereum, but it's okay, you still have the coins or whatever tokens that you borrowed on the other side. Now there is a, another factor to keep in mind. When you do deposit, you are going to get these G tokens. Now these G tokens, I assume that other developers out there on Harmony One will figure out how to leverage the G token to borrow against it or even use it as a LP token in their protocols. That way you can use a interest bearing asset, AKA the token you're lending that's turning it into a G token and using it for other DeFi projects and protocols. Now, the minimum or maximum amount, there is no minimum or maximum. Just keep in mind there are gas fees if you're depositing a penny. Well, come on, bro. The gas fees are really just gonna eat your lunch and it's not worth it. If you wanna withdraw, make sure you repay your loan and then you can withdraw. If you haven't repaid that loan, make sure you're at a healthy factor so you don't withdraw to where you get liquidated. The contract won't allow you to liquidate yourself anyways, but just in case, try not to put that health factor at risk. Now, can you select certain assets you want to borrow against? Yes, there is a little toggle, or I assume there will be one, and that will allow you to say, yeah, bro, let's go ahead and turn that on, and or no, bro, we're all good. Now, I want to talk about some of the team members. All right, so let's go ahead and break down the lineup. First, we got Flu. Well, this guy is a people's person. This guy literally knows everyone everyone in the Harmony One community, and a bunch of people in D5. Now, Pyth, dude, he's alpha to the let's go power. So don't sleep on him. Beavis, well, he's not listed on here, but you can basically call him Fort Knox. He is performing the audits for the protocol. He is giving a audit with their Bite Masons team, and I think this is uber bullish uh, because Beavis is one of those guys who really, really, really cares about what he audits, what he codes, and what he looks over. I give a shout out to him. Make sure you guys give him a follow. Uh, look and see what he's doing. Check out his protocol on Reaper Farm. And then you got, well, the Websters and I guess you can say Calendy of Crypto, which is going to be like your Sweet Cheeks and Josiah. And then of course you got Phantom Menace and The Crow. These guys are basically the wicks of crypto. They make junk happen. And then you got Loser King and this guy, just call him Salvador Dali. But the reason why I really, really like this uh, granary project is you have a mix of really well-known devs and really well-known people inside Harmony One ecosystems as well as other ecosystems working on this project. Now I go to say that because when you're investing in something or playing with something or using something in DeFi, you want to invest in people, not Ponzi's. Now that doesn't only go for the community, that also goes for the team. You can have a killer community, but if your team is poo poo, well then the whole thing is gonna be poo poo because the community is going to be gathering around like, yeah, we throw poo poo at each other. No, you don't want that. You want a good team, you want a good community, and that is where you create fire sauce, period. Yeah. Now I go to say all that, but I wanna give you guys these two examples of what I think Granary Finance will do for the Harmony One ecosystem. Let me give you the first example, Geist Finance. When it came over to Phantom, what happened? It literally stole all of, well, almost all of the TVL over on Avalanche. I mean, it was like that. It was quick, fast, 
and easy. Just keeping that in mind, what do you think Granary Finance may do to the Harmony One ecosystem? Not financial advice. Remember, you have to make some theses, make calculated bets, and then make your decisions from there. Second, what happened to Avalanche when Joe came out? You know, Trader Joe. I mean, a lot of people were like, Ave is coming, this is gonna be awesome. Well, what did the Joe token do? It literally went from like five cents to $3.60 or even $4 at a, at a high point. I mean, just think about the token crunch on that. And no one was really talking about Joe at the time. Joe was like one of those, uh, with CryptoFish, a pretty cool guy. Um, Joe was one of those uh, tokens and communities that no one was really talking about. Everyone was betting on Pangolin and everyone was just like, nah, bro that's gonna be poo poo. Now it's the same thing I see with Granary. There is rumors and news that Ave is coming to Harmony One. And well, I wonder what would have happened to you if you just waited on Ave on Avalanche and you missed out on Joe. What happened to Ave on Avalanche? Well, as soon as it launched, everyone was like, dude, these yields are kind of doo-doo. And what did they do? They left. So just something to keep in mind. Now I wanna end this video with this. Take a look at the community and team. Make your decisions accordingly. Invest in people, not Ponzi's, period. No questions asked. Now, Geist and Blizz, I know they opened up, they pumped, and maybe like three days later, they were dumping like nuts and ham, but they opened with a billion dollars in TVL and they climbed rapidly after that. Now, that means big wallets, big whales are going to be dumping all the time. I have a feeling this project should be way more organic and grow slower and should have less walls or whales to begin with. Now, this is just my opinion. As always, time will tell. Now, one other thing I want to mention as well, that there are cross-chain networking opportunities. Beavis is over on Phantom and I believe he will be able to plug in and let people know about Phantom and I'm sure he will have the networks for doing so. They also mentioned going on other chains as well. As always, time will tell. Now, let me go ahead and leave you guys with a wisdom one-liner. If you guys want to jump in the Discord, there's a link in the description below. It is the Patreon link. The Patreon link, make sure you sign up for the VIP tier. That will give you Discord access, and I offer a lot more exclusive content on Discord than I do on YouTube, and there's a lot more alpha there. And you can also get into projects a lot earlier than I even show on YouTube. Fire Chapter 21 versus 29. The wicked put up a bold front, but the upright give thought to their ways. Make sure you guys think about what you guys do. You guys can make that decision once and you have the consequences after that. I mean, I know sometimes people make decisions like, should I drink water? Sometimes you'll have bigger decisions. Don't do it. You know what I'm talking about. You guys can also catch me on tweeters. Uh, it's at rent a home fast, like literally at rent a home fast.